enrichment program we have amongst us Dr. Mohit Hegde, owner of Creative Infotech. He has completed his electronics and telecommunications engineering from SDM College, Darbar. He has done courses on Apple certification and 21st century learning environments. He is an Apple solution expert for education and training providers, bringing the best practices of the world into schools and colleges of Indian and international institutions. Dr. Hegde has been awarded the Digital Educator of the Year 2016 by the leading management institution for his work with VTU. Dr. Hegde received this prestigious award for setting up the Apple Center of Excellence in India through his company Creative Infotech. He has various certifications to name a few, delegating tasks to your team, coaching and developing employees, leading and working in teams, transitioning from manager to leader. Recently, he has been awarded the honorary doctor doctorate for his contribution to education on using 21st century technology to deliver education. He has worked with more than, for more than 20 years with leaders of leading educational institutions by conducting leadership engagement sessions and has been a part of their vision, mission, strategic planning, professional development and curriculum development of life cycles. Dr. Hegde established his Creative Infotech company in 1995. The mission of Creative Infotech is to help every child become academically strong, technically skilled, emotionally intelligent, and equipped with 21st century skills. His highly talented team of Apple certified professionals have successfully trained more than 1,500 teachers across various grades and curriculum standards. With no further ado, I would uh, invite uh, our guest speaker for today, Dr. Mohit he Hegde, to deliver his session. Over to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, one, thank you, one and all. Thank you, uh, everybody assembled out here. So I'm here, uh, right in front of you, Dr. Mohit. I think that's a brief, long explanation about me, but I have been in uh, Bangalore for very long, and I'm here, very excited to have to be among all you teaching faculty. And just to share that, you know, uh, it's been a transforming time for everyone and it's been a unbalanced and balanced uh, stage of life. We're all going through pandemic. Happy Diwali to all of you out here. My best wishes, let's travel from darkness to enlightenment, right? That is the journey we're going to all go together. And that can only happen when we all come together and you all have done a wonderful job. As I stand here, you know, I'm really getting shivers because I'm standing in front of an audience which happens to be the best woman enterprise educational institution of India. One round of clap for all of you. As I talk about it and as I was going through and thinking, you know, what can I bring on table as I meet you, as I get an opportunity to speak to each one of you, I thought it is very important that I prepare myself, collate everything what I have learned for the last 25 years of my experience of in, engaging with technology and education. And that's what I have come here with. There's a lot of engaging talks we're gonna have. I would want it to be interactive, because this is not a one-sided flow, right? It's no more one-sided flow. It's about not spraying and praying, right? It's about being interactive and going for the question, why? Okay, we have been doing this for a very long time. So to my credit, I have more than 1,500 teachers right in Bangalore. Okay, so I have gone through the journey uh, AC and DC, AC and BC, right? What is AC and BC is not after crash or before crash. It is after Corona and before Corona, okay? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about how we have gone through that journey and how uh, no, each one of us have stood out and why do I salute each one of you and how has the experience been because I have been been along with this 1500 community where I have engaged and you know, uh, bought in technology across. So I would want to talk about it. So as we uh, speak here, and as I read about Mount Carmel and the efforts which has gone in, uh, the recent webinar which happened, I think it is in the direction of the vision and mission of the institution. Okay, it sets the ball rolling. It talks about, you know, how the industry is moving and how the institution will help your industry and how it will indirectly help every individual right individual institution industry 
all are the governing factors which will change the country and how we will help you know modi ji you know in creating atmanirbhar or make in india everything starts right here the mother of all learning okay so that's where we would want to connect this to this is where i feel it is very important for us to know what is india right and where is india position and why it is a such a exciting time for the youth of india okay the very important factor which is for us to know that india is today the largest democratic in the world making it the most favorable place for investment okay that's the reason our honorable prime minister is going across the globe and talking to people to come and invest in india so what is brand india we need to know that right what is brand india we were always a product india till the time the british were here we were always spoken as a large country okay with you know lot many people trust me it is no more that we are one far beyond we are no more considered as a product we are considered like a brand now right like you know we have a human as a brand think about a country as a brand that's what our country is and that is transformational and i feel it is very important that we each one of us here have a role to play for us to lead the world of tomorrow the future right we are all addressing the future the classroom of tomorrow today that's what we are trying to talk about and that's what i have for you to show, showcase so about the teacher balance i think i would want to really congratulate each one of you all the teacher community because i know the uh, you know the space where you have operated okay from home and i know the challenges what you had back home to do that operation and connect with every child when technology was sometimes new to you but you did stay back you engaged you delivered and you took up that responsibility so hats off to each one of you and you have done a phenomenal job okay that's what is the background in terms of the programs which has happened i just went through the mcc iie a uh, very nice program which i was really excited and i definitely want to meet the core team who has initiated the program because going forward it's about creativity right and creativity comes from uh, a number of factors which we can talk about which i will go through but mcc iie is the ball in the right direction allowing us to add inputs to that really will evolve mcc iie uh, it is innovation incubation and entrepreneurship right am i right so that's that's a uh, right direction i i i again you know compliment the management the leadership to think in that direction because a lot of institutions are talking about it but steps taken in the direction even in in pandemic situation is a bold move and congratulations to that team who has done this brilliant job in terms of the webinar which happened okay the recent webinar what you conducted again let me compliment that it is very clearly addressing the vision and vision of the institution because the theme taken was sustainable goals okay now sustainable goals uh, sorry the sustainable goals was on uh, the mcc iie uh, here it was about the uh, strategy for addressing you know pandemic situation am i right correct me if i am wrong i can be wrong i can fail that's how i come here right i can fail and i can come here <clears throat> so when uh, they did that you know the type of uh, articles which have come out and the type of addresses which has happened i would like to highlight one of the factors there is uh, definitely let's look at brand india so that's where i was in terms of connecting uh, how this whole activity which is happening in the college how it is connected to brand india i want to arrive at that please be with me as i arrive because this is something i have just formulated you know my thinking in the last couple of days and i find uh, we are in the right direction okay we require industry support because when i speak i am coming from the industry okay industry collaborating with the institution is a very important factor so then you know what is relevant and then you bring in that relevance to the students and that's how you empower them with in relevance to the industry so brand india why is india such a big brand today see there was a agriculture revolution right we all know about that right and we did play a very large role out there okay 
after the agricultural revolution, we had the industrial revolution. Again, you know, we were not prominent there. What is the next revolution? Anybody here? After the industrial revolution? Telecom revolution. Technological revolution, okay? When, and in the last two decades, okay, brand India was realized globally. And that revolution, we played a very important role. Look at all the top technological companies. Who is sitting in the main chair? Indians. Indians, right? Isn't that motivating, right? So it is already a hint that what's going to happen globally. And there are other reasons which, as I show you, when you will believe me, that we are going to be instrumental, okay, in world economy, okay. We will be instrumental there. And how it is? Because the indications are already there, which I gave an example. And smart devices, smart digital, like a smart digital here, okay, uh, changing the way of life and the way we are doing things, again India is going to lead. And the biggest power for India is we are the largest democratic of the world. We are the largest democratic of the world. When I say democratic, people power. People power is the largest and with a leader of that state, I am confident you know, it will be heading in the right direction. Second is the demographic. When I say demography, and I am talking about the youth of this country, we have the youngest population of the world. Remember that. We carry, these are our assets, we have democracy, which is the largest, we have demography, again we are the best. But then, with the great power comes great challenges, which is something which we will address. So as we come down, Brand India uh, is poised for that growth. And so why is that we feel... Let me just take a slide to connect. Uh, reasons. Why, uh, see when the pandemic happened, the sentiments went down, right? So the foreign investments came down, right? And that resulted in liquidity crunch, okay? So, uh, this, uh, and it, uh, the foreign investment happens to play a very large role in the overall uh, economy of the country, okay? So, why is that our Honorable Prime Minister is going to all the countries and saying, hey, why don't you come to India? Why don't you invest into India? There is a reason, because Brand India is already formed. And Brand India was formed to certain factors, which again I'll go later. Okay? But before that, we'll talk about the reasons why we stand out in countries. Because of the trust, the amount of trust, trustworthiness, what the country has evolved when you go globally, uh, when you say they're from India, it's no more a product, it's a brand. Okay? That recall has made India position itself favorably across. And there are huge investments which are happening into Indian companies. And if you look at the portfolio, it is you know, just multiplied. Giving an opportunity for every Indian, every startup, every entrepreneur to put forth you know, their ideas and look for you know, uh, getting funded by a foreign uh, institution. Okay? Giving that possibility. Now, why is that? So large because of the transparency, we don't hide anything. We do transparent business. We rank very high on that. We're talking about communication. We have very good in communication, right? We're able to communicate, but yes, these are the factors which we need to really look upon. Are we really doing good? Are we really improving? And last but not the least is collaboration. Right from the Indus days, we are the greater, greatest collaborator. If we could make so many vaccines out in India, I think it is a pure example of collaboration at the highest level. And the landmarks what we achieved, making us proud that we are able to address pandemic the way we have addressed for a largest population of the world, the second largest population of the world. So these factors uh, makes it very, very important to know that, you know, So international investment is definitely there. Connects with Atma Nirbhar Bharat Yojana, self-reliant economy. Now you see the connection, there is some connection. We are always seeing this, you know, we are seeing the TV, we are seeing everywhere, there is a message happening from the country. 
okay that atmanirbhar okay now atmanirbhar can happen with lot of factors one of the factor is brand india okay the student of next generation can definitely carry brand india with them okay and 